Welcome to Denmark, everybody. It's time for a little stadium tour. I see the image in the top there. Looks looks all right. Let's go and have a look. We're in the sort of northernish part of uh, Denmark. We're in the, the city of Randers. The name. Um, we're oh, nicely in the middle. We've got a lovely river going through. Nice. Is that a fishing lake? Could be. Um, right. Is there, oh, there it is. Okay. Looks all right. Got tra plenty of training pitches. That's a nice training pitch. Okay. It's almost got full. It's, it's technically got all the corners. A couple of them are, are slim, let's say. Right, let's have a look. How does it, how imposing does it look from the road? Are you ready? It's not the prettiest. Is that permanent or is that scaffold? I think that's permanent. Okay. <laughs> Looks a bit more like a prison than a football stadium. Um, wow. I feel like we could fill that with sponsors, guys. Just saying. We can make a bit of extra cash here just getting some getting some sponsors in. Okay. Is there a better view? We've got the floodlights there. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's a that's a place, isn't it? Let's just see if we can go this side. So is that the main car park? Oh, okay. Does it look a bit... Okay. Is that part of it? Or is that just some posh offices next door? Or is that where the offices... Go. Okay, got some old people. Okay, that looks nice though. I like that. Yeah, lovely. Is that like different types of pitch? Or are we just like, we can only afford water for this one. And we'll have an AstroTurf one. And we've got a dirt one. And we've got over there, we've got a gravel one. Just for practicing on different surfaces. So is this... So this is just like an office space. Is this part of the stadium? Yeah, okay, it's part of the stadium. Let's have a look inside. Let's have a look around the other side. I don't know what this is. It is! What's the best way to describe this stadium? <coughs> Functional, isn't it? It is a football stadium. I think that's about the only good thing. Oh, we've got air yeah, cheeky, like it. That's about the only good thing about this stadium is that it is a stadium. That is that is one of the dullest stadiums. Oh, in the, oh, in the corporate area. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, they've got a Lungen. Is that ice cream? No, what's that? Beer? It's got to be beer. Beer taps. Okay. That looks pretty cool, to be fair. <laughs> All right, inside the prison, as we're now going to call it, it's, it's called the prison now. The stadium's called the prison. It looks really nice. It's a nice compact stadium with all the corners. It looks like it was built all in one. They just used all their budget, I guess, here and just thought they'd just stick some big fences around the outside. Carpets. It's got the logo, it's got the colours and stuff. Oh, okay, look, a little bit of a meeting room thing. It's pretty cool, to be honest, on the inside. Just ignore the outside. Right, let's... Anyone need a towel? Um, right, let's let's get into the game, because I've only had three days to prepare this entire team for a game of football, so I'm assuming this is going to go badly, badly wrong. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. So, as we spoke about before, when I took the interview, we were lit here. When I first, and they just lost all ball but one game, and they were bottom of the league. Thankfully, they won in the cup game against some. And today we've got a cup game against, I think, like a second division team. I, I, I can't remember the division. Um, a good draw against one of the top sides. Um, great draw in the Europa League. And a win. So that's good. A bit more momentum. And so the, the team are a little bit happier. The atmosphere is much better after some uh, good performances. Now, we haven't had time to sign anybody. However, upon looking at the team, I did realise we desperately do need a, a centre-back option. We've got a couple of DMs that can play centre-back that don't really have the thing. And I've got this guy in. Big Stevie Dodds. He's 23 years old. He's available on a free, meaning I can register him anytime because I read the rules. 
Um, scouts don't really rate him, and it, it maybe not a long-term solution, but he's a 23-year-old left-footed centre-back that I think is pretty solid all-rounder. He's never going to be a world-beater, but he came through the Sheffield United um, youth ranks, had a few loans, and I think for now, because we desperately need somebody, because this guy is our main left centre-back, and he's leaving in like two months' time. So, and then we got the transfer window, and we can maybe sign another one, because we still need another one. But So I've offered him a contract. He Somebody else did offer him a contract. Chester in the Vanarama National League. I think he's way too good. Have I just lost my marbles? Because I feel like he's way above Vanarama National. Unless the... In the 10 years of this save, the skill level of football has just gone up dramatically. And surely he picks us. That would be the most annoying, that he doesn't choose us. He goes, no, actually, I prefer the Vanarama. Um, that's a worry. So, tactic-wise, now normally, you know me, just the way I like to watch football, I like the pressing, high-pressing, high-intensity, high-action football. I always tend to sort of drift towards that because I like... I like watching it. I like using it. So what? that's my style of player, if you will. It's like Poundland Gagan Press. Um, but I'm trying to not do that here, at least initially until I panic, as we know. Um, so we've gone for like a 4-3-3 direct-ish counter-attacking because we've got pace. These two guys especially um, have got bags of pace and Hansen is our experienced all-rounder. Doesn't know how to play as a left winger. But he's a very good all-rounder with really good passing. So I'm... Do I even try something? No, let's... Do I... Was, do I a wide playmaker I never use... Let's... Let's live a little. Let's live a little. Um, so we want to utilise that. We've got good, mainly defensive central midfielders. Nobody exceptionally attacking. Delgado's probably our best. He's he's a, he's going to play as our box-to-box -box midfielder. He's one of our loanies. And Soivold is uh, going to play as a Mazzella. Uh, just I think he suits that role better. Hornus Horns, Horns? Um, is, uh, big, big Johnny Horns is going to play as our anchor man. We've got a no-nonsense centre-back here. So I don't mind a bit of a long ball, like a you know, wish Virgil van Dijk. Um, and a good centre-back. Our goalkeeper is the only one we've got apart from the youth player, so he gets picked. Uh, this is our wonder kid. So wing-back support, you know, he get heavily involved. We want him involved in the game. On the on the left-hand side, we're not as good. It's another position we need. So just a standard full-back support. Just do your thing here, and we'll try. What does he like? So cuts inside with the ball. I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. I haven't really tried any, that role for any length of time, so I'm going to, because he's having to learn it anyway, he can just learn that one. Uh, position, support. I'm bringing in a few staff members, because we need some, um, and physios, and we've brought in some scouts. I don't want to go too crazy. Got to be very careful with the finances. Um, I'm trying to sell... A couple of randoms from the B team, a couple of dregs. We've got a bunch of amateur players that don't get paid, so I don't care about them. But a couple of, uh, like this 23-year-old that's not going to get enough game time. Just like, get off the wages, a few people. Um, I think I'm going to sell this guy, Adil Sari. Like, he's physically really decent. That's it. Uh, end of sentence. Uh, but I might be able to get half a million for him. I need some sort of money from somewhere just to fill the gaps elsewhere because we've only got 14 grand to spend. But like I said, today, on this one, I, I, I need your opinion on this guy. He's one of our good youngsters. He's a centre mid, attacking mid, left wing striker man. What is he though? He's. I think he's one of those players that I might just sell because I don't think he excels at any one thing. Thing and his physicals aren't really good enough and I might be able to make some money from him. Let me know your thoughts on this. He's got really nice mentals. His technicals are all over the place. Physically very meh. And he's 20. If he was 18, then maybe. And he attempts overhead kicks, because why not? Um, but I don't even know what if I was to keep him, what he would be. <laughs> like, he's not a playmaker, clearly. Can't pass. Um, not really a striker, because uh, he can't finish. Um, not really a winger because he can't cross. 
not really a any sort of defensive player because he has no defensive attributes at all. So I think, let me know, do I just cash in on this player? Hopefully to get maybe million, million and a half for him. Even though he's homegrown and all that stuff, I think we could use the cash much better. Uh, but he's having to go on the bench because we've got quite a small squad. Uh, this is the guy, uh, Mochetti Shilas Siklas. Sick, sicko. I'll just call him Sickly. No, sicko. Um, no, misc, set nickname, right. right, sicko, and I genuinely think he could be quite good, he's got all the necessary, he's got a bit of flair about him, we can play him on the right as well, I like the way he sort of tries killer balls, but he has seven passing and ten vision, he tries them, it, it never works, but he does try them, he comes deep to get the ball, which I also don't want him to do, um, and likes to lob the keeper, which is fine. Uh, but he's he's fine. Do we have a... We can buy him for 300 grand, which isn't terrible. So he's got a chance to prove himself. And the other guy I really want to sort of focus on is Ken Christensen. He's all about the runny, pacey boy. He can also play up top, so we might cut and change. He doesn't have the best crossing, but he does have really good passing. So th think of it as a pass, but further... Um, but he's really rapid, so I think that'll make up for it. And he's got decent mentals, and he's a decent dribbly boy. So, and he's only 20 as well. So I, I want to give him game time. Potentially, we just play him up top instead. We'll see how Sicko does. Uh, on the left, we've got Mads Hansen, as I said. He's just the perfect all-rounder. 31 years old, bags of experience. He is left-footed. So we'll see how he gets on. Delgado's probably our best central midfielder. A uh, good all-rounder, decent in defensively, decent passing, decent first touch. He's going to be our box-to-box -box boy. Uh, this guy is our Mazella. Probably another weak area, probably that second central midfield spot. But uh, he should do okay. And then we got big Johnny Horns, who's just a solid tackly boy. Not the best defensively, especially for an anchor man, you can argue. But he's also got decent passing and vision. So at least when he does get it, if he if he ever does get it, he can pass a little bit as well. Uh, won't lose the ball. Um, but he's not really a centre-back option either. So I think it's probably sort of a suitable role for him. Uh, we've got uh, Niels Andersson, who's our left-back. He's, he's fine. He's pretty decent, to be fair. But just not the most attacking. Not I think he's just a solid full-back. Without being, he's not quite quick enough to really be bombing up and down. Stamina's not quite enough. His end product's not quite enough. So I think a fullback support is good for him. Uh, this is the guy that's leaving us. Um, I'm just going to call him Thanos. We had a Thanos a while ago, didn't we? Um, not the best heading, but 17 jumping reach. Could prove dangerous from... Uh, attacking corners as well. Loves aggression. He argues with the official. He's an angry man. Uh, our best centre-back is this. Unfortunately, he's 31, but he's a solid all-rounder. James Gomez. And then we've got our, our wonder kid at right back. I don't know if we can... If that's his role going for, like, for the future. I think it is. Like, we could make him something else, but he could be a DM type player. But I think... With good physicals, really good stamina, good pace. I think we just use him on the wings. And then we don't have an option. This is our goalkeeper. 17 aerial reach. Not very good at one-on-ones. Partly the reason why I'm not going to be playing a really high line because he's not a great sort of sweeper keeper. Um, he, he needs a little bit of help. And he is American. Make of that what you will. Uh <laughs> <laughs> there's Americans watching this video. So, well, why am I taking strays? So overall, good. Good thing is we're playing Karl Schlund, um, who are in this division, which I don't know what it is. That is it. The fourth division. It's the fourth division, right? So even with a terrible tactic and a terrible manager, we should come to be. At least they've got a team. Right? Nobody, do they pay their players appearance fee or are they are they fully, no, no, no appearance fee or anything? Okay, fully, we have to win. 
<laughs> oh, should I just leave if we lose today? Should I just sneak out? I think that I think honest. I genuinely think that might be for the best. Right. Okay. Let's just do it. And it's fine. And then we've got Limby and then Sporting and then again. Then it gets horrible. This is like a, to ease us in. Uh, the board expect where do we expect to get in the cup this season? Um avoid relegation, latter stages and be competitive in the Europa League. Uh, they also want us to play attacking football. Counter-attacking does have the word attacking in it. Halfway there? Uh, youth system, which is what I'm fine with. Um, oh, they are they our rivals, AGF. They're six in the league, and they're eight points ahead. Okay, new goal. Right, boys. Oh, it's so weird. I normally... What's, what's wrong with him? Doesn't agree with today's team sheet. The dressing room doesn't agree with today's team sheet. Is it because you're on the bench? Because everybody else does seem to be fine with it. It's weird that. I've got my eyes on you. I've got my eyes on you, mate. Right, so. Please don't lose this game. I predict victory. Gomez starts. Good. Right. So what I'm really hoping to see do well is our right-hand side because we've got two of our best young players on right back and right wing. So this probably isn't the best tactic to use against probably somebody that's going to be quite defensive, but I want to, we'll use it. Okay, is that us? I can't, I can't tell if we're playing in the blue or the blue. Okay, Hansen, is that mine? Is he mine? Yes, yeah, so that's him. Right, okay. <laughs> We're in the dark blue. Right, Sicko. Lovely. Hansen. Christensen. Hansen. Sicko. Tries to scoop one in. Big Johnny Horns. It's not even that big. Right, Thanos. Okay, okay. <laughs> I did say a wish, Virgil van Dijk, and I guess that's what you went for. Oh, nice. Svoj I don't know how to say that name. Something Vold. Svoiled. Come on, is he on? He's off. Never mind. Good. I'm not I know why this is a terrible team and we shouldn't really this We should beat them if I picked a random tactic and a random team. I know this. But it's it'd be nice to just start with a win. John Hansen, little floaty header. All right, I want to watch what um, Hansen is doing. I, I, I want to call it a umbop. He's the the advanced playmaker, right? He is okay. Yeah. All right, Andreasen. It's nice. Delgado, a box to box, lovely. Svoivold. Oh, Frederick. That's definitely his name. Frederick. Much better. That's just a mash of letters. I'm not having it. I'm sorry to all my uh, Scandinavian friends, but that's that's just a silly name. However, Frederick is just a great name. He sounds a bit Brazilian. He could be a Brazilian then as well. People might be spooked by him. Okay, Hansen. You can have a pop. Keeper's leaving him a bit of space. Ooh, the keeper is nowhere near. Do I call him Umbop? I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. All right, good start, boys. Sicko. We'll go advance forward for now. I might go Poacher and just have him as the tacky boy. There we go, Christensen. That's a nice ball. That's a great finish. That's offside. Okay. So our team doesn't know what offside is. We've learnt. Two lovely goals from Sicko. He's he's just eager to impress. He wins that header well. Christensen. There we go. Drive at him. You've got the... Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's, he's shown willing. So Hansen's like cutting inside quite a lot, which I don't hate. Go on. You! Christensen, go on, Ken. <clears throat> I kind of, like, I kind of like just Ken with a double N, like it's edgy. 
Might just call him Ken. Go on, Ken. Yeah, it suits him. We're gonna we're gonna sign seventeen players called Christiansen, so we do. Let's call him Ken. Oh, that's lovely. Go on, Thanos. Hanson. Back into the middle. Oh, he's, going, he's having a little wander. The old man's going for a wander. Floats onto the back post. Right, backs. We've not seen much of him. Big Johnny Horns. Delgado. Pings one in from range. Right. Nickname. Ken with an extra N. Because he's a rebel. Right. I'm going to praise them. Like I should. Right, Frederick into Gomez. Not the best, not the best pass from Gomez. Sold him a bit short there, but he's gonna comfortably get it back. Vax. What have you got in your locker? Big Johnny Horns. Is he I think he's offside. Is he onside? Is he onside? He's onside. <laughs> well done, Sicko. I was assuming a hat-trick of offsides. That's got to be very close. Ken with the assist. Ah, oh, this is... I've got to remind myself that this is... They're terrible. They're an amateur team. And don't get ahead of myself. We're going to concede now, aren't we? After saying all that. Yes, Tonks! But there's still part of me that's like, Oh, we, I think we might be good. I think we might be good. All right. <coughs> a burmester. Um, that's the one we gave the extra contract to for a year, didn't we? Let's try him out. Not the best in the air. He's the whingy guy, isn't he? I want to see how Mads Hansen does for the 90 minutes. Uh, I don't really want to play you. A Pollat is a... Very much a playmaker and nothing. Let's okay. Let's go. Frederick had a great game. Let's try you as a playmaker. Right, come on, impress me, boys. Right, decent possession, decent shots, decent xG. Pass completions a little bit low, but we're not short passing around, so. Just a reminder, this is a non-league team. We should always beat them. I could play, and we... Mm, no, taking it, I've taken it too far. I could play in goal for five minutes as part of this, and we could still win. I could play for a half, I reckon. Like, if I came on at half-time in this game... Nah, <laughs> I'm not going... Because I feel like they just shoot from everywhere, and I was, I was still letting fall. Something can come off just for a bit of rest. It's not the most taxing. Hopefully, it's not the most taxing tactic in the world. That's the obviously the downside of the old high pressy bollocks is that you get very tired. You have to rotate a ton more. So hopefully, we don't. I need to check the intensity. So, huh? So far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get carried away. They're rubbish. How intense is our tactic? It can't be. It can't be massively intense. We do have a bit of closing down, but for, yeah. So it's sort of standard intensity. Um, one thousand four hundred forty quid for that. Go on, Ken. You know, but, uh, that's just a random. Um. Right, so Ken did well. Frederick did really well. Sicko got a goal. He, he Over the course of 90 minutes, he learned what the offside was. The defence kind of didn't really have to do anything at all, which is fine. I think it's... Obviously, we played a crap team, but I think that's... It's fine. This is worth giving a go against a ninth place Lingby. I think is fine. <laughs> and that's sporting. How are, they, how are they doing? Well, they're only fifth in their league. Okay. 
Don't want to look at their players. We know what's going to happen. And then we've got the massive rival game straight afterwards, apparently. So this is the big rivals. Do we have any other rivals in the... Uh, Battle of the Eastern Jut... Battle of Eastern Jutland. Oh, it's got a name for it and everything. Right. Okay. So, overall, good. Happy with it. Like I said, transfer window. We need a goalkeeper, even if it's just a backup goalkeeper because we have to have one on the bench and this guy's awful and he's 18 um so some sort of goalkeeper definitely a center back this guy will do for now and probably another one because we're going to lose thanos a left back because he's literally the only one we really have that can play left back comfortably apart from thanos who's leaving so a left back a center back a goalkeeper seems quite a lot of a shopping list now i think we can live with what we've got in central midfield it's not perfect but i think it does the job and the attackers are fine. So it's just fix the defence a little bit and sort of patch the defence in the transfer window. And also, do obviously, the big question of the day is do we nickname Hanson Umbop? It's a question as old as time. <laughs> uh, right. There we go. Not bad. Undefeated start, my friends. Before we go, because I always forget to do this, let's go see how the old team did. Right. First things first, transfer history. Okay. Nobody left, right? He was going on a free. Least players. Meluso, Luna, and now okay, they were they were all the ones leave. So they haven't sold any of their big players. My god. See, we kept them financially stable. They've signed three players, Francisco Fulgenzi, who is a goalkeeper of sorts. Juan Manuel Viveros from Old Brown for 250k, who's a decent right back in his prime. Mentals were a little bit. Uh, and Maximiliano Castillo, who is a right winger who can run fast. He's not bad for the price. That's okay. They are fifth. This is the League Cup group, right? Yeah, so they're fifth in the League Cup group. Four points. They're not going to. Not going to get the couple um, of Boris. How did they do in the uh, league table? <gasps> Fifth! Let's go, boys! So only a little drop-off. I'm so surprised by that. Oh, that's great. Who's top goal scorer? Fer okay, so they're playing a 4-4-2 with Ferry and Shabalala. Who's decided he's leaving. Can't live without me. No, I don't think that's a bad thing. He's a, he's a one-in-four striker. Yeah, it's almost one of those players. I don't think he's bad. It's just sometimes they just don't click. Um, so that's not necessarily a bad thing he's leaving at the end of the season. Uh, Ferry is doing bits. Where's... So Merlo's playing as a right winger. Six goals, six assists. Player of the season. Blaze is great in goal, but as we expected. So they've pretty much kept, kept the whole team together. That's great. Um... How's the youngster doing? Is this this is Martin? This is the youngster. Is he getting much game time? Yeah, thirty-one sub appearances, seven starts. Contreras, surprising lack of game time, and he's got six goals. And he wants a new goal. I thought he was asked to leave. I feel like he should get a bit more game. Maybe a bit more, sub him on a few more times. That's interesting. So this guy's been subbed on twelve times. A 16-year-old striker. <laughs> okay. feel like maybe you should bring the other guy on. Uh, Danny DeVito's getting very little game time. He Jumping reach is always his problem, but uh, probably one of the best ball-playing defenders in the league. He'd probably just make him a DM of sorts would be ideal. Okay, but overall, and Paz is getting a ton of game time. The youngster. He was always kind of my backup, but maybe they just needed a left winger and he's the only one that can do it, I think is more the case. But there we go. We've left the club and they haven't immediately capitulated. That's great news. Um, Who's their manager? Um, I can't see the... There we go. Sergio Gomez. Not bad. Right. 
oh, it's nice when we've left them in a good spot and they've actually done quite well. The finances are okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. There we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Welcome to Randers FC. It's Randers FC, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just Randers FC. We're good. Doubted myself. Up the horses. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.